Welcome to my channel. My name is Maria and I make personal development content here on YouTube. And so in today's video, I want to come on here and talk about three things that I am currently prioritizing as a Christian woman. Um, and I think like these are things I feel like I pretty much talk about them um, in different ways in my different videos. But these are things that I think we sometimes like, I, I don't want to say take for granted, but we um, don't really understand how important it is to prioritize these things sometimes because we just kind of go with the ebbs and flows of life and we're not being intentional about paying attention to these areas of our life. So the first thing is my relationship. Um, I am really starting to uh, appreciate my relationships, um, not just um, romantically, but also like platonically as well. But um, I really just kind of want to talk about romantically right now. I think that um, if you are in a relationship right now or if you're married right now and you find yourself like constantly bickering, constantly going back and forth with your partner, um, right now, I really believe that it's important to start prioritizing, um, finding ways to communicate better. I think that we oftentimes take our partners for granted we don't really like when we are so used to them or you know we're just kind of used to always being with that person we kind of get into this mindset of like oh i don't have to be intentional about the way that we communicate i don't have to be intentional about the way that we spend time together and making sure we're spending that quality time i don't have to be intentional about those things right and so subconsciously like we don't realize it, but we're actually like not appreciating our partner anymore. So we may start to find ourselves like comparing ourselves, comparing our partners to other people or things that we see on social media. Personally, I'm not really on social media, so I don't really have that aspect of it. However, I do understand that that is something that um, just from speaking with friends and family and even clients about, you know, like, oh, I saw this and I'm like, why? And I brought this to my partner. I'm like, why don't you do this? Or why don't you do that? And I think it's right now of the importance of just appreciating what your partner does bring. I can't tell you how many people I talk to and are just like, wow, like, um, you know, I, I wish I just had like a decent partner. Like I wish like I could just even find a good relationship. I wish I could find someone who was serious and wanted to be in a committed relationship. And so in this time right now and going forward and even previously, but I can't even express how important it is to now really prioritize your relationship and, and prioritize trying to get along. Um, I remember someone telling me before, like, uh, your responses are either going to be, um, like salt, uh, uh, um, sweet, like honey or sour like vinegar. And so however you, if you put out everything in a positive way and you're sweet and you're kind, then that's like, that's the energy that you would expect to receive back. Um, but if you're out there like putting out like energy sour with your partner and you're giving them a hard time to go or you're just kind of like, just really not appreciating them and appreciating the fact that you have someone that you can actually spend the rest of your life with, that they treat you well, that they're doing right by you. Um, those little small things, like just as small as like, oh, they didn't put down a toilet seat. Oh, they didn't pick up their clothes off the floor. Oh, like, um, they left some food in the, in the, in the sink without like turning on a garbage disposal. Like things like that are so minuscule. And I think like one thing that I have really prioritized is just not nitpicking, like picking and choosing my battles and just making my partner feel like, I want to be here like this is a safe space for me like we can talk about things because what that does is that creates a, a deeper connection and so ultimately my end goal is to be married and so in that um i understand that there is a certain amount of priority that you have to create and, and intentionality that you have to create within your relationship and so that's why i have been working on like developing my femininity even deeper and just you know not just just learning how to just be and if you haven't seen that video already um 
I did post that already um, a couple of days ago or maybe a couple weeks ago now. Um, so be sure to check that out. And I'll also put that down in the description box below. But just not finding like things that I know are going to trigger an argument. Things that I know are not going to like antagonize my partner. And I also noticed too, like when I don't put that energy out there, like <laughs> I don't get that energy in return either. Like if I like have an opinion about something, it has to be like a life or death opinion, like a life uh, or a life or death situation for me to have an opinion on it. Otherwise, I'm just going to let my partner be my partner. Like at the end of the day, you're still human. They still have we grew up with different backgrounds, different cultures, all these different things. Right. And so it's important to still allow your partner to still be an individual, but still make sure that you're showing up and um, you're doing your part and uh, contributing to, to the to the relationship in a healthy way. And so um, right now, this is just something that I'm just really prioritizing um, and not just prioritizing this so that I can end up married, but also prioritizing this so that I can move into um the marriage and continue to sustain the marriage because i think a lot of times too we don't realize that the marriage is just one day like the the wedding is just one day sorry and you got the wedding but then like this is the person that you have to live with now you have to have those serious conversations you have to be able to have those conversations have those communications prioritizing like where we align like where we differ like how we can compromise how we can be in the middle like all of those things we kind of just may try to sweep under the rug and just try to pretend like oh like everything will be fine and dandy but no this is something i've been prioritizing and in this being able to prioritize the fact that this is the person that i want to be with because you don't just want to waste your years away like and i and i'm hesitant to say that because i feel like um every failed relationship or every relationship that you have is always teaching you something and setting you up for success in a new relationship if that one doesn't work out but also too sometimes we do overstay our welcome sometimes we god has already told us the lesson and we just holding on because i don't because we just don't want to let go yet like we know the lesson already and so um i've just been prioritizing being intentional about um making sure like this is the person I want to be with, like we are connecting, we are communicating, we are having those tough conversations, but also to I am allowing my person to be my person and to um, just be able to feel feel like they can just be and not have to worry about like, he doesn't have to worry about, oh, like is he so like showing up this way? Like just like, just honestly just feel like this should be your safe space. I can't emphasize that enough. Um, I've been very mindful of the fact that like there are so many things that we go through every single day in the world that like when you are with your partner, that should be your safe space. Like you should not have to come home and then have to deal with them too and deal with their attitude and deal with the and third. And that's not to say that you won't ever have those days, but most of your days should be positive days and you should be able to debrief. You should be able to like relax and just really dedicate your attention and and um enjoying your time with your partner especially out here in a stressful world so that should be your place where you are able to kind of let go of all the other nonsense that's going on and just be able to focus on you two having a good time together um so that's the first thing that god has been uh placing on my heart for me to start um and continue to uh prioritize the second thing is being a steward over my money. Um, I have been a very impulsive shopper. Okay. And so sometimes, like even today, for example, I'll be completely honest. I saw something and I was like, ooh, I like it on that LTK it app. And I was like, ooh, I like it. And then I was just like, you know what? Let me go buy it. And then I'm going to go buy it. And then I immediately called and canceled the order. I was like, you know what? Actually, I'm not getting this. Like, I think that um, at this point, things have to make sense for me. Like, I can't, like, we are in a, an economy right now where people are really struggling. And um, to me, I feel like clothes is like something that I used to like really, really, really like. I used to be 
I want to say like addicted to shopping, like seriously. And so I feel like in me, like just kind of growing and just prioritizing different things and prioritizing savings and prioritizing um, things that make sense. And I, I just feel like, you know, God has placed this in my heart and it's a different place. I'm a, in a different place in my life. But also, too, there's a reason why God is placing this in my heart right now. You just never know what what can happen in the future, what will happen in the future. And so um, this is also something that I want to just come on here and talk to you about. Like, if you are finding yourself buying things that you really don't need, please stop. Like the economy is really, really, really struggling right now and people are struggling right now. And so you just never know how like you may have it right now, but you never know if like an emergency will come up and then what are you going to do then? Um, and so I just feel like this is just something that I just had to come on here and just speak about and give a message to because like the way things are looking right now, they're not looking good and i saw like gas prices are starting to like go up again and all that and it's just like oh no like we are not about to do this again and so even though they're talking about like oh prices are slowly coming down prices are slowly coming down i am starting to change the way i do things so even like when it comes down to like moving and all those things like i am looking to move shortly and start going and living in a place where it's much cheaper um because like these are things where i just feel like god is ordering my steps um for a bigger reason um i don't know if that's because i'm just maturing <laughs> or like i don't know what the, the reason is but um just honestly being a good steward over your money um i feel like i used to like really just be like oh i'm a ball till i fall like and like god is always gonna make a way for me and that's true like god does always make a way for me but i also understand too um the the importance of just not taking that that for granted honestly and just making sure that i'm still being responsible with my money um i i just can't even i i just really cannot even stress how important it is to just make sure that you have some additional money and i saw a study about how um they just said only 40 percent of americans right now can touch a thousand dollars or something like that like i saw an article and i was like wow like if they had an emergency fund only 40 percent of americans can and i'm just like yeah this this is actually like the world that we live in right now and i am really starting to be a steward over my money um and so that's something that i really just want to talk about prioritizing because um at the end of the day as long as you can eat as long as you can wear clothes and this is another reason why too i started going for really like basic colors like white black gray and cream and ivory because like that helps me to be able to mix and match my outfits without spending too much money um and also too when it comes to this too i've actually been starting to learn how to actually dress for my body type and not just going along with the trends because a lot of these trends right now to be honest with you is not for my body type like the baggy clothes this is not for my body type it makes me look like not fitted like it doesn't make i don't like it on me so um, I think that's another reason why, too, it's been easy for me as well to start being a steward over my money because I'm very, very, very choosy, very, very, very picky about the stuff that I'm getting now. Um, and so it's not always about just like trying to fit in. It's not always about just trying to go with the trends. It's about what makes sense to you. And um, if it makes sense to you and it's also financially affordable um, and you're not going to put yourself in a hole too deep then that's fine but just to make sure that you're starting to monitor your money and you know budget and make sure your bills are paid and all these things pay off on credit cards if you can like really honestly like get it together save up save up save up and then finally the, the last thing that um i have been uh prioritizing as a christian woman is my peace of mind um i feel like this is like kind of goes hand in hand with like <laughs> the relationships and also like being a steward over my money because like i don't know about you but when i make like impulsive decisions like about like spending money or something like that then i end up like upset like i'm like oh like 
now I just put myself in a hole. So now I don't even feel good about the thing that I'm about to get. Like, it doesn't even feel as good anymore. And so, like, that's part of peace of mind. But more so of, like, understanding that it's okay to not have the answers. And it's okay to not be at everyone's beck and call. Um, I have been really prioritizing like having peace of mind slash listening to my body listening to myself and so when i feel like deprived when i feel like exhausted i know that i cannot fill up anyone else's cup because my cup is absolutely empty and so what i've been prioritizing is actually stop putting myself in a situation where my cup is empty and starting to know when the cutoff spot is where I'm like, I cannot take any more of whatever anybody else has going on. Like, please do not call me. Please do not text me. I'm not going to be available. Um, you know, whatever I have to say, like, whatever I have to do, I think, like, just knowing where, like, you're starting to get irritable, just knowing, like, when you're going to, like, when it's just, you're not going to be speaking from, like, where you need to be. Um, and you're going to be speaking from a very like, just like irritated place and, and just knowing like, okay, what do I need right now? Like, what does Maria need right now? Like what, if, if nobody needed anything from me, if I could just sit here, turn my phone off, if I could just close, shut down the world, if I could just literally just sit in silence right now, what is my body telling me I need right now? Like, is it saying that it needs rest? Is it saying that it needs a vacation? Is it saying that it needs time away from work? Is it saying that it needs a hug? Is it saying that it needs, like, a cuddle? Is it saying that it needs a good movie to watch? Is it saying that it needs a good comedy show? Is it saying that it good needs, um, like, what are you, what is your body telling you right now? Peace of mind um, is so valuable because if you don't have peace of mind, you just feel chaotic. You just feel chaotic. Does your body is your body telling you right now that it needs to um, rest? Is it telling you that it, it it just can't take another thing right now? Like those plans that you made with your uh, friends this weekend, maybe you need to cancel them because you are just kind of doing this to like please them, but you're actually really exhausted and you need the rest. What is your body telling you right now? Like without any guilt, I think that's the biggest thing. Without anything, any guilt holding you, what is your body telling you that it needs? And if you can really spend that time to yourself and give yourself that peace of mind, shutting the world out. Um, I always say like at least try to give yourself like an hour out of the day when you're not talking to anybody. My best hour is the morning time. Like I love early morning, like four or five o'clock in the morning because the world is so silent. I love it. It's not chaotic. You don't hear cars beeping. You don't hear this. You don't hear that. You don't hear people outside running. You don't hear dogs barking. You don't hear anything. It's just silence. Um, and so I really think that that's something that everyone needs to prioritize and something that God has been putting on my heart for me to prioritize right now in this space in my life, because, um, I really po probably should have put peace of mind first, but when you have peace of mind, everything else, uh, you get gain clarity on everything else. Like everything else makes sense. Everything else feels good. You're able to make smart decisions, conscious decisions. You're not irritated by like the smallest things. You're not impulsive in your decisions and going back and forth with people or like, you know, just kind of like putting yourself in situations that you normally would not be in if you just like found a spot where you cut it off and you stop um filling up other people's cup and you actually fill yours because as you continue to fill others yours is slowly dwindling down so really that's it for me i just want to kind of come on here and honestly just give like a transparent very um open and honest moment with you all but um something that i really think everyone should really be thinking about right now um especially with today's world um and along that peace of mind how about you turn off those social media apps as well because too much information we are not supposed to be consuming all that information and so too much information can actually become overwhelming and sorry the last thing i want to add about this peace of mind thing real quick is i have been starting to like change up my eating habits and everything and 
Um, like I've been trying to find some plant-based meals and things that I really like like to eat and stuff that like I'm trying to find something I actually want to eat that don't look disgusting to me. <laughs> and um I just found myself exhausted and just overwhelmed from the amount of like different things that I was not able to find. And so I just had to give myself a break. And then I went back to it because then I was able to go back to it and I actually was able to allow time to take its course. And uh, the YouTube algorithm actually showed me somebody that I absolutely think um, our meals are definitely alike and I'm really going to enjoy some of her meals. And so I'm excited about that. But um, kind of just knowing again, like when to cut yourself off is so important because when you need that like peace of mind, that clarity, and you're just feeling overwhelmed, you got to know when to cut it off and just have the patience to just say, God, you will lead me to where I need to be eventually. So really now that it really truly is all for me, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, be sure to check out that video down below as well about um, the femininity. And uh, I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.